Hello YouTube! I am really sick. <laughs> I've had the flu and I'm super behind in making videos, but the show must go on. I was tagged by the Epic Reads YouTube channel. Hi Epic Reads YouTube channel, they're awesome. They did their first book tag. So cute, little first book tag. I'm gonna do this tag, but rather than like ahead of time coming up with like tons of funny answers and stuff, I have never read the questions before. I'm just gonna rapid fire answer them. So let's do it. All right, the first question is, if you can invite one author and one of their fictional characters to tea, who would you invite and what would you serve them? Because I'm sick. I don't think I should be serving anyone anything because I don't want to give this flu to any of my favorite authors. I think I'm gonna invite, uh, obviously, JK Rowling. I'm gonna have her bring Madame Pomfrey <laughs> and I'm gonna let Madame Pomfrey serve us tea with like magical healing ingredients. What book do you wish the author would write a prequel for and what would the main storyline be? I mean, I could I could use the obvious answer and say, please, JK Rowling, I just invited you to tea. Write the Marauders story. Tell me about when the Marauders were at Hogwarts. That's all I want, that's all I want, please. But if I were to pick another one, I would like a prequel to Ready Player One from the point of view of Halliday as him and his partner create the Oasis and, and watching it become what it becomes. I think that could be really cool. Which two characters not from the same book do you think would make a good couple? I'm gonna say, no, not not would be funny, what would be a good couple? Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna say, uh, Christy Thomas from Babysitter's Club because she's a businesswoman and knows what she wants and Draco Malfoy. They make a terrible couple. If you ran into your favorite author on the subway and could only say one sentence to them, who is it and what would it be? Okay, this is on my bucket list. On my bucket list is to be one of the many thousands of people who has said to JK Rowling, you have no idea how much your book has changed my life because there's no other thing that you can say to her and everybody said it but it's so true my life is literally changed because of those books and knowing that it'll just that I'll just be one of the like thousands of people to say that to her doesn't even bother me I just want to be able to tell her what book made you a reader and why I not only found out at a very young age that I liked reading but I also really liked starting clubs and like being in charge of things. And so the first book that I ever read on my own was a Babysitter's Club Little Sister book. I don't remember which one it was. I think if I looked at them I could probably remember, but I don't off the top of my head I don't remember. But I really loved the like go-getter attitude that Karen had and so I just devoured all of those books and then when I moved on to the Babysitter's Club I just was just so inspired by these these girls that started their own babysitters club and I just like not only did those books make me a reader but they also made me someone who starts things and and has these hobbies I, I owe everything to the babysitters club incendio your bookshelf just caught on fire what no no show us the one book you saved ah, hang on I just want to save all of them um, there's not even any books over here that I care about. They're all over here. Okay, I feel like all of my answers are about Harry Potter, but I would save this one, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, because even though I have a box set of all of them, this was my very, very, very first Harry Potter book. It's, it's well-loved, and it has all of these pages dog-eared, and I don't remember why all of these pages are dog-eared, but it really makes me happy knowing. When I was 13, I had all of these things that I wanted to like remember about this book, and I, I this, this one. In which dystopian world would you want to live in if you had to choose one, and why? Uh, well, I know what I wouldn't want to live in, and that is the world in Unwind, because that world is messed up, but that wasn't the question. The question was which one would you want to live in? That's hard. I'm gonna say Ready Player One because at least the Oasis is amazing. At least you can just plug in and live in Middle Earth and all your problems go away. That's not a good way to live your life, but I had to pick one. What is your most epic read of all time? That is such a hard question. Like, how can I not answer Harry Potter for that? You know, like Harry Potter, Harry Potter led me to the internet. It led me to conventions, I had a band, like, my answer is Harry Potter, but I think if I'm gonna say, like, recently, I think the most epic read that I've read is probably Horror Store, because that book was amazing. The book was so great. 
and creepy. Oh, we're out of questions. Oh, okay. Uh, tag some friends now to answer these questions. Okay, I'm gonna tag Kat, Katie Tastic, although she was probably tagged by Epic Reads because they're probably friends. But if not, I'm gonna tag Kat. I'll tag E. Lizzie Books. Uh, I'll tag Mallory of Sunshine because I always tag her. Yeah, that's a good amount of people. Okay, you're all tagged. Tag your it. Am I still talking? Oh, I have to do a book shimmy. I'm doing a book shimmy. What? What's a book shimmy? I'm gonna assume that a book shimmy is when you shimmy with a book. <laughs> is that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that good. I am gonna go take some medicine and go to sleep. Thank you Epic Reads for tagging me in this tag video. I promise if you ever do another tag video, I will be operating on more than half my brain cells. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Bye.